Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. It's Brando Olenek here coming to you from my home office and wanted to shoot this really quick conversation for you talking about how to start a business at home, um, sharing with you some traditional methods and breaking down some really critical information on starting, you know, like the example in this video says, a beauty salon business at home, um, doing a review on that, also sharing with you non-traditional methods of building a business from home like the internet, okay? So you're going to want to know this. The whole purpose of this video is to leave you with an informed clear mind on what you want to do to really build a business and how you can build a business to get the results that you want from home. All right. So if you're following me here, um, to kick off the conversation, when it comes to starting a business from home, a business from home where you can have the time freedom to enjoy and do what you want when you want, a beauty salon or a beauty parlor business all right, or any type of traditional business you're looking to start from home, the principles required to run and maintain the business are the same principles that are required to run and maintain uh, an online business. So the two are very, very similar. You know, you obviously got to get customers if you want to keep the business afloat. And if you don't have customers, if you don't have new people coming to your business every single day, the chances of you making money is going to be very slim. In fact, I wouldn't even promise you promise you making money because if you don't have people coming to you every day, it's just not going to be sustainable. It's not long term. All right, so. It's very critical, all right, that's the first foundation. Obviously, you need customers, all right? You need to have a list of people who like, know, and trust you, and it has to grow every single day in order for you to actually build the business. Now, aside from that, when it comes to a home business, all right, there's a lot of different precautions you need to take, especially when it comes down to traditional ways. When you're talking about a beauty salon business, you're talking about dealing with supplies and equipment, okay? Inventory, shipping and handling, driving out and doing deliveries, picking up people, just the whole process itself, okay? Even though it's a salon business and you can start in the back of your house or in your garage, dealing with supplies, dealing with equipment, dealing with sometimes having employees for a little bit of extra help throughout the day, Dealing with that can cut down your profit margins from a business standpoint. Remember, you're dealing with more overhead. The more overhead you have, the less profit that you're going to be putting into your bank account because you got to manage and maintain that on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Is that saying there's anything wrong with it? No, because just like in an online business, okay, you have to have customers to keep the business afloat. So it's not saying anything wrong with the business model, but it's just so that you're aware. Um, from that point on, all right, you got to keep in mind maintenance, all right, maintaining all that stuff, maintaining your equipment, your shop, all right, and doing that every single day, which can take some time out of your day, okay? So it's a good business to start. You can simply start one by getting your business license, registering your business, making sure that it's legal to operate out of your home and that it actually governs with the laws that are in your state, in your city, if you're in the United States watching this or if you're in Canada. There's certain inspections uh, that will take place before you can actually operate out of your home um, that the city has to go through. All right, home and health, they go through that so that you have a clean place that's operating. But uh, aside from that, it's as simple as once you have that down, you can post some things up on Craigslist, start building your influence through social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you can start building your following and getting people to come to your house and get clients that way. All right, so that's how you can do it in an essence. Now, dealing with some of those things, like I said, supplies and equipment, maintaining that on a daily, weekly basis can cut down your time. Now, on the internet, the difference between the two is you don't have to deal with supplies, equipment, and all that stuff. You won't even need to deal with employees with the right guidance and help. And if you're looking at starting a business from home because you want time, freedom, leverage, and flexibility, I would suggest seriously looking and considering learning from someone who's already building a business online how to do it yourself. That way you don't have to deal with supplies, equipment, employees, and all that stuff that takes away from your time throughout the day. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that in a nutshell is just my overview and uh, experience when it comes to this stuff. Bottom line is though, you need to have customers to keep the business afloat. You need to have customers to make money. So if you get anything, the best tip I'll give you, regardless of if it's on or off the internet, learn the skills of leveraging systems online to build your business. If you don't have a list of contacts that's not growing every day where you can present your business opportunity to, learn how to attract people to you and your business through the internet so you don't have to do home meetings or chase people down or post things on social media without really knowing what you're doing. Get guidance and help and learn the skills required from systems, all right, okay, systems and processes that people are using to build a business online, all right, whether that's completely on the internet, okay, or be using the internet to build your traditional business, all right. 
It's the best thing you can do. It's what I did going back like a couple months ago when I came across a person who was building a business online and uh, they're doing so completely on the internet, making like a high multiple six figure income. And I started to model and copy what they're doing less than a month later, working my tail off, all right, really hard, and learning some things. I was able to create a full time income working part time with my business on the internet. So the stuff does work can work for you, best thing you can do, learn how to get prospects to you every single day. So I hope you enjoyed this, it's been fun, and uh, I look forward to seeing your success story, I hope you got value, and if you'd like to learn more about how to build a business on the internet, if you want to learn how to do this, okay, whether it's with a beauty salon business at home, or another opportunity, and we got a wobbly camera there, good thing it didn't fall, remember this is on my phone here. But uh, if you want to learn more, you can check out my site at 123marketingtips.com. I'll put a link down in the description, and uh, I'll see you on the beaches of the world. Take care.